Okay, I'm not going to try and say the name of this car, or at least its first name. Um, XTC and Fond the Floor have dropped this today. Rush out and grab it, you need it in your life. Um, it's the Watson Roadster. Sorry, the Watson Roadster. Let's go. Okay, so it's a 60s based Americana. Oval and track single seater. XTC likes to bring the obscure and wonderful to the modding world. And he's not let us down this time. This is obscure, but it's also absolutely amazing. I have raced it on a track at uh, Watson Watkins Glen. Yeah, Watkins Glen. Uh, but I thought, since it's an American oval track car, I'd bring it to Italy. Why not? It's an oval, not a problem. So first up, I've just got into oval gear. Yeah, it's got one, two, three, then oval gear. Oval gear will take me about two laps, up to three laps, to get the thing up to speed. It is a drafting and just keep your foot in gear. Because I've gone blind, that's better. So as I get the speed up, as long as I can keep my exit and entry speeds high, I will catch the field pretty quickly. I went in a bit early and bogged. Yes, I bogged at about 160 mile an hour going into oval gear. Oh, big lump the car lifts. Here we go. Now these these corners on this track are just yeah monsters. I'm going to have to lean over. <laughs> uh, okay, easy boy. Stay on the train. Keep the I'm losing the draft here on the draft here it comes now one thing you may know is if you're that way inclined there's no wing mirrors you literally have to look over your shoulder and look at the back wheels because the original things have wing mirrors so why would you put wing mirrors on it okay we're gonna have to uh, get caught up in a little shenanigans here let's go on the outside Watch the big bump out on the wall. Jeepers, just tapped it. The massive transitions you go from the flat track into this. Almost 90 degree wall, straight up. Right, speed's coming back up. We are at 183 and climbing. Uh, this will well, I've done over 190 in it. It is. It gets seriously scary at that speed. What more can I say? It's uh, suspension's quite soft, as per the design of the car. If you look at the the, uh, the track of the car, it is quite narrow. With quite tall tyres. What does that tell you? Yep. If you go on, if you're on a track, and I did this twice yesterday, um, if you're on a track and you get your two inside wheels on the grass, you will load up. As you can see, the, the suspension loading up on the outside corner wheels of these cars in front of us. Um, the thing will lift up on two wheels, and if you don't correct it, you're going over. Uh, physics and all that. This is not self-leveling suspension or. Whoa, a GT3 of an F1 car. This is old school. When men were men and race drivers were horses. Don't know why I'm looking over there. There's no mirror, Owen. There's no mirrors. Trying to, trying to find a decent spot through. Okay. Let's just check my speed, 151. Dropping into third. Try and get a bit of punch. No, that was a bad idea, Owen. Come on. Back up into oval gear. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to let go of the steering wheel. You can see what the force feed about steering. You ready? Three, two, one. Yep, okay. Back all the bit. Whoa.
cold trick will never have to deal with this. Wah. So the whole thing about AMS2 is racing. Yeah, close racing over multiple, multiple different varieties and disciplines of cars and motorsport. Um, this just adds a whole other feather to that cap. These are absolutely fantastic. You want to go and take these round the green hell? You can do. Just, just, just don't come complain to me afterwards. Because it will take care uh, some doing. They are good on racetracks um, and they're absolutely fantastic on the ovals. And they look gorgeous, they really do. The car models are really, really nicely done. All the liveries on it, or liveries, depending on where you're from. Right, here we come, 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 here we come. No room, make me room, thank you. Gosh, that bump every time. Okay, just let me lean over in my shirt. And yes, for the added danger and excitement, dun dun dun, I give you the dangerous brothers. No, it's raining. Yes, it is raining, people. Because, hey, this isn't dangerous enough. Let's just throw a bit of water in the mix for the last couple of laps. I'm leaning again. It, it's that bad. You drive this thing with your elbows out at 90 degrees. It's, 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 the immersion is that good. It's like, ooh, I've got to drive it with my arms out. Look at this wheel. And the rev counter. XTC, what's that? No, I'm not saying anything. But yeah, the rev counter, you don't need that. You're in oval gear. You'll, ne ooh, you'll never redline it. Oh, God. You can see the red line if you look like that underneath your hand. The gear's that long. Don't get me wrong, it just feels right. It just, yeah, I think the original on PC2 had two gears, which felt wrong. Uh, this is, he's, he's, he's fettled it. He's had a play, he's got the feeling right. Here we come, we've got the lead pack. Of course, we've got special AI going on and all the rest of it, as usual. Try and... Yeah, the, the, the brakes are good on a the track, they're really good on a track, but when you get them up to these speeds, they are... They don't do much. <laughs> they really don't do much. Let's see how they handle in the wet. Now, the AI is going to back off. He says there's one got screaming underneath me. I've got to keep a toe, but I, as soon as I do, I can't see at these speeds. 180 now, tyres are cold. Okay, backing off a bit. Yeah, you can see the amount of lean there and how soft the suspension is on them. The car's in front. Oh, come on, 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 come on. I've got issues. Have I, have I run out of fuel? I've run out of fuel, haven't I? Wow. 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 Last lap. Well, that's a new one. Last lap running out of fuel. It's that quick, this thing. It's still rolling half a lap on <laughs> we get to have a look at the track this will be out in the future it's the uh, historic Monza Oval and it's uh, yeah really really nice really suits these cars down to the ground hmm at least Jim's not around to tell me off Right, I'll leave it at that. In fact, what I'll do is I'll park up here. 
and you can all have a good look at the car from outside. Yes, out of fuel, I know. So let me step out of this. We beastie, been a while since we've done this. Which I can get out. I can get out the left. As they come hammering past. The motor be under there. Whew. Step out of the car, Owen. Thank you. Whew. The headless driver. So, yeah. This will be the track graphics. So, things like wheels, there won't be a lot of um, detail on them. But you get an idea of the overall dimensions of the thing when I stand out, stand out of it. Just stand out in the rain. I don't think there's anything else coming down the uh, back straight. But yeah, can't recommend these enough. Uh, link in the description. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and uh, take a breather after that one. Adios.